Prime Minister Narendra Modi has congratulated the Indian Space Research Organization for moving the propulsion module on Chandrayaan 3 from the moon's orbit to the orbit of the Earth. ISRO's groundbreaking maneuver is being considered a follow-up to the HOP experiment on the Vikram lander. The operation marked a significant milestone in space exploration and showcased ISRO's commitment to advancing lunar mission capabilities. So these are, of course, the big uh, developments we are tracking for you. PM Modi has congratulated ISRO for moving the propulsion module on Chandrayaan-3 from the moon's orbit to the orbit of the Earth. Well, ISRO uh, continues, uh, of course, to achieve milestones and PM Modi hailing the Space Research Organization. Blue Captain. So these, of course, remain the big developments we are tracking for you. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has congratulated. Indian Space Research Organization for this latest feat. Senior Scientist Group Captain V N Jha is joining us for more details on this story. Group Captain Jha, uh, PM Modi is certainly uh, very pleased with this latest development. Uh, how significant is uh, this uh, new development by ISRO, this new feat achieved by, by them? A very good morning, Uday, and to all your viewers. Uh, yes, this is a very uh, unique sort of uh, uh, out-of-the-box uh, experiment that has been carried out by ISRO. It was not originally planned, but when uh, Chandrayaan-3 was uh, successfully inserted into uh, the orbit, uh, the propulsion module especially was inserted into the moon uh, orbit and uh, landing was successful, all missions were are complete. All, all missions were accomplished of Chandrayaan-3. Thereafter, propulsion module, which was orbiting in the polar orbit of the moon, was actually uh, not required to be there. And with about over uh, about 100 odd kgs of fuel left into the propulsion module, ISRO thought that it can try experiment bringing back the lunar, uh, that propulsion module back to the Earth's orbit. And it attempted that, and that attempt was successful. Uh, compliments to ISRO for all this. Uh, it was uh, having a sort of a futuristic scope of, uh, in the future, bringing any spacecraft back from the lunar orbit to the Earth. Of course, this propulsion module doesn't have the skin, uh, it's, it's uh, uh, material that can withstand uh, bringing back to the Earth, because when uh, bringing back to the Earth, it has to pass through the atmospheric reentry. Right now, propulsion module doesn't have those uh, materials which can sustain the type of temperature which is created during the reentry to the atmosphere. That is about 2000 degrees Celsius plus. So it cannot withstand. So right now, what they have done is they have brought propulsion module back from the lunar orbit to the Earth's orbit. Right now it is injected to the Earth's orbit at about 1.15 lakh kilometer uh, pe uh, that perigee, that is the closest point, and about 3 lakh plus kilometers, which is the farthest point, apogee that we call it. It is at, a, at an orbit, uh, orbital uh, um, uh, altitude which doesn't threaten any of the satellites. You should remember that we have many satellites in the uh, lower Earth orbit, mid-Earth orbit, as well as the geostationary Earth orbit. Geostationary is the farthest point where we, we have it, and that is at about uh, 35,790 odd kilometers. So this uh, Chandrayaan-3 propulsion module at an altitude of one lakh uh, uh, fifteen thousand kilometers 
is far above any of the satellites that we have in the Earth orbit. So there is no threat to any of the orbiting satellite right now. There is no threat of any collision with any of the satellite. So there it will remain. Uh, I, I believe that 100 kgs of the fuel that it had uh, wo- is nearly uh, burnt out by now when it is inserted. So at that altitude of the orbit, Chandrayaan 3 propulsion module will continue orbiting the Earth for quite some time. We must remember it still has got one uh, instrument, one uh, sensor, sensor called SHAPE, which is continuously mapping the Earth's near infrared uh, uh, spectrum. And that uh, measuring will continue in the coming uh, months and maybe a uh, year or years. So uh, it is there. And finally, uh, this may uh, enter the atmosphere at a much later date. Uh, as uh, at that those altitudes, there is a very little of the drag with the air. So the, the Chandrayaan-3 propulsion module will continue remaining in that without any decay. Decay is uh, lowering, slowing down of the velocity. That will not happen. So, so compliments to ISO that they have tried this, uh, which was not in the original plan, and this will give them the extra data, additional data, for Chandrayaan right. 4 or Chandrayaan 5. All right, Group Captain Jha, thank you very much for joining us with your perspective on that story. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.